Hello, this is Paolo and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a wood texture using Reality 3 for Poser. Now we have a, a very simple scene here, it's just a sphere and uh, if we call Reality we see that our material for the sphere is just a generic glossy with a off-white color. Now uh, the way we create textures in reality or we modify textures is slightly different to what you might be used to and uh, the secret of interpretation of all this is that in reality you do extensive use of converting a texture from one type to the other. Now just for the sake of understanding what we are talking about this here that says preview glossy this is a material called the preview of type glossy. A material has a series of channels. In this case, this is the diffuse channel. And here is the specular channel. Now the diffuse channel provides the information about the color of the surface. And the specular provides the information about how much light is reflected by the surface of this object. In this case, we're gonna focus on the diffuse channel. So right now it's just a color. We might be tempted to think that this is a color that is applied to the material. That is not quite the precise way of referring to this. This is a color texture which right now has this color. Now we can change the color to anything we want and, and we see immediately that the surface of the object is changed to that color. Now, if we look carefully here, reality in the texture editor says that this texture is of type color. Now, if I want to change this to be wood, I can click on this, and instead of trying to disconnect and, re and reconnect the different texture. Basically, I just click on the type of texture and I can select a new type. Now, if I select wood, reality says uh, this is incompatible. The reason why this is happening is because Lux Render cannot mix textures of different type. Each texture in Lux has a specific data type. The texture can be either color, or numeric. There is a third kind, but we're not gonna look at that for now. So color means the texture is made of pixels or color points, and each color point is basically represented by RGB value. A color texture means that we have a texture, it's a surface of a certain size, and that texture is made out of points, and all those points are expressed in RGB, red, green, and blue values. Nothing extraordinary here. We've seen RGB textures all the time. Then there is a, another kind of texture that is of type numeric. A numeric texture is a texture that instead of having RGB values, has numbers. And more precisely, each point is expressed as a value between zero and one. So you can have something like 0 0.003, 0 0.42, 0 0.5, 1, 0. All those values are correct. It cannot go above one, but between zero and one, you can have any kind of value. In Lux, you cannot assign a numeric texture to a color channel. So in this case, the diffuse channel is a type color. You see this color wheel here. So I can only connect textures of type color to this. And if I select any other texture, then it will complain about it. So instead of going to wood, which is incompatible, what we are gonna do is to use the mix texture because the mix texture allows us to mix two different colors, and so it is of type color. So I click on mix, and you notice that actually reality brought inside the new texture 
the old color because this is the very cool part about the reality text editor it is smart it does convert one texture to another and recognizes the compatible values and it carries over those compatible values we'll see more about this in other tutorials but this is the first taste of how it works so now we have a mixed texture a mixed texture has two textures together and it mixes them based on a value so in this case we have this texture here it is of type color is this color and then there is another color this is just a default value so what i can do for example here i can click on this and change the color to something like this now we'll see that the preview has changed and why has changed because these two colors have been mixed together this 214 150 111 and this 93 134 240 so these are the two colors how is the mixing done well through this mix amount in this case it's basically going half and half basically this is a value that goes from zero to one and if it's zero it means that just the first color is taken and if it's one it means that just the second color is taken and if i put it 0.5 then half of one color is mixed with half of the other color and all the gradations in between i can try something like the 0.3 will be 70 percent of the first color and 30 percent of the second color but i don't want to do this right now i want to create a wood texture so how do i do that i do it through the mixer texture if i have a mixer texture then this takes over this value is ignored and the mixer texture which is of type numeric will drive the process it's easier to see in action than try to describe it so what i do is simply this let me just resize the window a second so I don't have any texture here. I'm going to click on the gear menu and I select new. And in here I select wood. And now I have a, a wood texture and we see immediately the result. A wood texture is of type numeric. And basically if we look at the texture itself, there is white, black and gray. Black is zero white is one and the grays are values in between so now this texture is driving the mixing of the two colors all right so right now this is a little too big and the colors are wrong so let's first change the colors i'm gonna switch to a bitmap that i downloaded from the net so this is a wood texture and so i'm going to sample these colors and see how this works i'll click on this first color and click on the sampler or oh, let me switch to the wood texture again so this will be the darker color so i'm going to just sample a darker part of this image that's it and then I go back to the blue. Again, I sample it. Go to the texture that I have saved. And I'm going to just click on the lighter part of the color. Okay. So now we see a result that is more in line with what we are trying to achieve. Fine. Just a little too wide. So what we're going to do here is to click on the wood texture and um, see this parameter here called scale. It's a little too high. I'm going to just change it to 10% and we'll see the result here. Nice rings. This is a good result. A little too wavy maybe. So the waviness of this pattern of this texture is 
controlled by the turbulence parameter. So right now it's at five. Let's switch to two, something a little more modest. And I think I like this. So at this point, I think we can just try to do a render. So click on render frame. Voila. Now you have a wooden texture. And we let this develop for a while so that we can see the final result, but it's already pretty good. And you can change and tweak all the parameters. So for example, if we go back to reality, here, this texture, there are so many, so many parameters that can be used to create original patterns. We can change the vein generator, so basically what creates the, the original pattern from uh, sinusoidal to sawtooth. Okay, this creates a different pattern. There is triangle. It creates yet another pattern. Actually, I like this one. And the turbulence, the brightness, the contrast, all these parameters, you can just try them and, uh, and verify the result. Now, uh, if we look back at this, this is okay. The surface is a little too plain. So this gives us another opportunity to try another way of creating textures in reality. So the plain surface is caused by the fact that we don't have anything in the bump map. The bump map channel is controlled inside the modifiers tab. So with no texture here, there is nothing that can be used to move the surface to create some sort of a pattern on the surface, some sort of a, of a uh, roughness on the surface. We can fix that very easily. There is a great texture that can be used to create some surface noise, some bump map, and that is the fractal noise texture. So if I click on the gear menu, I go to new and select fractal noise. The fractal noise is this pattern here. Almost looks like clouds, can be used for clouds. The roughness is a little low at 0 0.5, so I'm gonna go to something like this, 0 0.8, and we'll see the result pretty quickly. Now, let me close Lux here. Ah, this is pretty good. So let's close this for a second. And this is the roughness we have at 0.8. The scale also is pretty high, so we are gonna go for 10%, much better. And I think I'm gonna use the full strength of bump map, so turn this to 100%. And so now we have a completely new texture made from scratch, and we can do another test and see how that changes. Actually, let me just change this a little bit. Bump this up a little bit. A little shinier. I like shiny objects. Okay. And uh, I can already see the result. I can already see the difference right now, but it will take a little longer to see the real effect of a bump map and I let this cook for a little more and show it at the end of the video. But anyway, so to recap, when you want to create a pattern using a procedural texture, the wood or fractal noise textures are called procedural textures because they are created by algorithms. So when you want to create some interesting patterns using those textures, and those are numeric textures, the mixed texture is your friend. With a mixed texture, you can have two different colors, or you can actually have two different textures. You could have images here. So in the simplest of the cases, you have two different colors 
and you have a mixer texture here. It can be the wood texture, it could be any of the other ones. It could be the bricks, it could be the fractal noise, or it could be the distorted noise. There are many, many different permutations. But this is what we have done now. We created a mixed texture, which is a type color. It goes with the diffuse channel, and we used a numeric texture to scramble, basically, these two colors. So I hope this was useful. My name is Paolo Ciccone, and this was a video about Reality 3 for Poser. Happy rendering.